Hi and welcome to First Takes. Today I'm going to show you how to create realistic 3D St. Patrick's Day cookies in Adobe Illustrator and by changing some properties of existing materials you can create your own custom materials like cookies and frosting. First I want to show you what the original objects look like before I applied the 3D effects and you can see very simple solid colors it's all you need to turn 2D art into 3D art that and let's get started here's my working file top left hand corner I have the colors I used in my project and let's get started by just selecting the hat the band and the buckle and move that off to the right select this base shape which is the cookie go up to window select 3d and materials and first thing we want to do is click the object tab click inflate and the only setting I want to change here is 35% in volume. For the rotation, I set a preset under the pop-up menu called Isometric Top. Over to the materials. The material I found that best looked like a shortbread cookie was Rough Rock Surface. Okay, scroll down and I want to change the properties for the colors only. So I'm going to go to the left here and I'm going to copy my web code, go back, select the object, click that color chip, paste it in there, and there's one color. Go back, select my second color over there, reselect the object, scroll down, click the second color chip, paste that in there, and there we have some custom colors in the cookie. Off to the lighting. I'm gonna give you the values I used here, which are 100% for intensity, minus 100% for rotation, 53% for height, and 78% for softness, and I unchecked the ambient light. Last setting in lighting was the shadows, so I'm gonna click that shadow switch, and I like to turn the shadow bounds up to 400 because lower values crops the shadow. Take that, move that off to the side, and next up is the hat. Select that, bring it down here, and object tab inflate and the volume setting i had for that was 40. go down set the perspective at isometric top off to the materials panel and the material i found here that best looks like frosting or icing on a cookie is called creased plastic film so i'm going to select that and i just need to change the color of this first so i'm going to go select my code go back reselect the hat hit this gray color chip down here paste that color in there and now we have some green icing starting to go and I have some settings for you for repeat let's put in 400 tab key to go down to roughness 0.12 is good intensity 0.29 is good wrinkle amount let's set that to 6 and then wrinkle intensity 0.29 seven three okay off to lighting now and here are the values I had for lighting intensity was 75 rotation was minus a hundred height was 50 softness was 78 and the ambient light was turned down to 40 percent and don't forget to click shadows and I'm going to turn the shadow bounds up to 400%. Okay, that's looking good. Let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom out and I'm going to bring that over here. Okay, next up is the band for the hat. Object tab, inflate, and the only setting we're going to change is volume to 40%. Down in the views we want preset of isometric top and off to materials material is going to be creased plastic film so let's select that and we want to change that to brown so let me go copy this color copy. select the object again click the gray color chip paste it in there and now it should be brown okay the settings for the band for repeat 180 Roughness, 0.12 is good. Crease intensity, 0.43. Wrinkle 
wrinkle amount will be 6. Wrinkle intensity will be left at 5. Okay, and off to lighting. Here are my lighting settings. 130, minus 73, 50, 85, and the ambient light is turned down to 40%. Don't forget to click shadows, and I'm going to drag shadow bounds all the way up to 400%. And let's see what that looks like. It's starting to come along. Take that and move that over to the hat. One last item is the buckle. Zoom in on this a bit. Okay, object panel, inflate, and set the volume to 40% on the buckle. The preset view is isometric top. And over to the materials tab and creased plastic film. And we need to change the color, so let me go over there. Get my color. Back. Reselect the object, click the gray color chip, paste the new code in there, and there's yellow. Okay, the values for the buckle are repeat. We want that 350. Roughness 0.12 is good. Crease intensity 0.39. Wrinkle amount 6. Wrinkle intensity, let's turn that up to 0.74. Okay, on to the lighting. And here are my values for the lighting. 107 minus 73 50 85 and ambient light, let's turn that down to 40%. Okay, I'm going to drag that buckle over to the hat here. It's starting to look good, but we just need to render it. And I'm just going to select the buckle and just show you where the rendering is up here in the pop-up panel for 3D. I would select ray tracing and I would select high. I'm not going to do it right now because it takes a long time to render. So I did render this out ahead of time. So let me show you what that looks like. And there it is. Hide that panel. Nice high quality rendering. Now up here under effects, document raster effects settings. This is where you control the resolution of your render. And I always like to set this to 72 DPI before I start my work session with 3D because any higher value takes really long to preview your art. So when you finally render at the end, change this to a high setting. Or if you want it for screen, you could leave it at 72. And then another place to go is File, Export, Export for Screens. That's another area where or you could set the resolution for your images and set different file formats and you're all good to go. And there it is. By making your own custom materials like cookies and frosting, you could turn simple shapes into very realistic art in Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and also hit the subscribe button to my channel. Thanks for watching.